Choosing a game engine is a big decision, a decision made best by yourself. Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to figure out what game engine you want to use. Hey everyone, I have a spoiler. There isn't a best game engine in the world. There are far too many variables related to what a good game engine is from person to person. It's the same as music. Everyone likes a different type of music. And nobody is wrong for enjoying a different type of music. Game engines are very personal as the systems have to work with the way you think. If it doesn't work for you, then that engine is simply a waste of time. No matter how many different people are screaming at you to use it. A lot of people will try and tell you what you should be doing, what engine you should be using, or why you'll never make a good game using this engine or that engine. I have a much better idea. What if there was a process we could follow? where we learn what game engine is best suited for us and the games we want to make. What if we could just stop listening to everyone else and figure it out for ourselves? Well, there is a process, and this is just one idea. I'm sure you could follow many different methods of figuring this out. Let's start with my one. First of all, I'd recommend picking around four game engines that look appealing to you. After you have them, research them. Look into the pros and cons. Research what types of games are made in the engines, what games you want to make, and think really hard about this stuff. After this, take away two game engines. With the last two game engines, I want you to download them and install them. Now I want you to design a super simple game that can be made in a few hours, like the mechanic of Flappy Bird. Once you have that design, try and make it in both engines. At the end of this, you will have experienced using two game engines, and you should now have first-hand experience in testing the engines out. From this, you should have a better idea of which game engine better suits your needs. If you figure out that you like both engines, then all you have to do is design the game project you want to create. After designing it, decide on which game engine you'll use based off which game engine will support your game project's needs. Rami Ismail had a great answer to why Valambia uses GameMaker. They create shooting games. They want it to be pixel perfect so that you can see the pixels before you get shot. So that the player has accuracy in determining what killed them or how they killed something else. Rami also mentioned that the world's best game engine is the one that suits your project. This is where my whole method comes from, as that viewpoint makes sense to me. I've seen far too many YouTube comments of people telling others what to do. It's time to stop allowing others to make important decisions, such as what game engine to use just based off their personal bias. I hope this method is productive and useful for you. Regardless of what I say in this video, people are still going to comment below that there is a single best engine to use because of X, Y, and Z. Just follow what you believe is true. Devote your time to learning the game engine. Make some epic games and just have fun. Remember, a game engine is a tool to produce games. If you want to make 2D games, then make 2D games. If you want to make 3D games, then make 3D games. If you want to make VR games, then make VR games. Just make sure you create what you want to create and not what everyone else is telling you to create. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember, pursue what is important to you because impossible is just a mindset. I'll see you in the next video.